There's a break in Paul's train of thought here, but it's a wonderful human detail. A reminder that the book of Galatians is not primarily a theological textbook, even though it reads that way in part. This is a personal pastoral letter addressed to the church in need of admonishment and encouragement. Five years has been difficult. Amen. It's been hard sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes you had to go by yourself. Mm -hmm. well, sometimes you had to have it on the teleprompter because they wouldn't come to church. Well, sometimes you had to cry in the midnight hour. Yeah. Sometimes you had to burn the midnight hour. Yeah. But that's all right. The waiting is over. You reap the you sown into the vineyard. It's time now to reap. Uh, watch this. You, God has given you a seed to plant. Uh, you planted that seed uh, and it produced the harvest. Uh, now you got to have more seed uh, that you can produce bigger harvest. Uh, let your imagination uh, run the vagabond. Uh, don't worry about them. Uh, talking about they don't do church like that. Uh, you do it the way God told you to do it uh, and it'll work out fine. Uh, do Oh, they don't need the screens in the church. They're going to use paper forever. The devil is a lie. That's $800, $900 that I can use for missions instead of paper. Don't worry about it. you got to be radical by whatever means necessary to get the folks saved. Sunday, we was, we was the, the children was doing it. The anointing was flowing. I broke out with a rap. Amen, somebody. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Now I'm 60 years old talking about rapping. Amen, somebody. Back in the day, I was rapping. That's how I got Sister James. Amen. <laughs> It's radical, it's radical, it's radical. Yeah. 
You are a radical. You are a radical. Amen. Can I help somebody? That's what we need in this century. Amen. Tradition is good. Am I still alive? Yes. <laughs> but every now and again, you need to get you some praise team. Go out in the neighborhood. Because the Bible says go out in the highways. Go in the hedges. Oh, it's good to come into the house of the Lord. But every now and again, Sister Bobby, we need to get hand in hand and say, I'm going down to Joe Blow's house. I'm going over to Brother Hickenbottom's house. I'm going to Leroy's house. And I'm going to tell him about the goodness of the Lord. He's been good. Leroy, he's been good. He's been better to me than I've been to myself. Can I help somebody? If you go out, something will happen. There's something to get in your hands. Something to get in your feet. You'll start shouting like a lot. Well, we can't get our breakthrough. Worrying about what other folk gonna think about your shout. What you think about what it looks like? This is to me and my God. Hold up. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. All right. That's right. It was God that gave me a holy. Uh -huh. All right. It was so radical, Reverend. Knew that even circumcision, with its long history and all its religious significance, no longer applied. All right. He's about to do a new thing. Paul and for the Galatians, what counted this was being this radical new creation. For us today, what counts is being a new creation. That's right. That's all that matters. Yes. Old thing, I don't know some of the places that y'all hear me say, some of the places I used to go. <laughs> Your church folk a lot of men, a lot of places I you lie. <laughs> Some of y'all still hanging out, amen. Hello. Somebody say the juke joint. Now you know that's old, amen. <laughs> they go to the club now, Reverend. They don't go to the juke joint no more. I don't go to the club no more. Listen. For us today, what counts is being a new creation. Right. Listen, in it your don't own strength, I can me. never do enough. All right. In your own strength, you can never do enough. Yeah. I tell Sap, you need to stop. Huh? God tells Sap, you need to stop. You need to stop. The little hard problem, you need to stop. <laughs> no, what needs to happen is somebody in the church needs to start. Hello, somebody. Uh -huh. Because if y'all won't do it, can I help you? We'll get it done. Amen. Amen. y'all won't sing, I'll sing. Amen. If you won't pray, I'll pray. If you won't clean the bathroom, I'll clean the bathroom. Amen. Whatever I do for the Lord, it's going to be all right. You can never do enough. In this world, there is always another failure around the corner. Yes, mm -hmm. Even when we learn from our failures, there's another one just around the corner. Right? Amen. Right. Amen. There is always more good work to be done. Amen. When we face difficulties of various kinds, when, when the world seems to be spinning out of control, when our prayer list, Reverend, keeps getting bigger and longer and heavier, and when discouragement can set in, huh? I stop by to let you know huh? God won't let you quit. Huh? There's a word of encouragement huh? from our scripture. Huh? Right. Don't be deceived huh? by your discouraging feelings. Huh? It's not about what you feel. But it's about who you know. Don't be deceived by your apparently overwhelming situation. Don't grow weary. It's doing good. Listen, 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 listen. This is my testimony. I said, I said in my mind, I'm gonna get off early today, and I'm gonna rest, and then uh, come on out tonight and be refreshed, right? Mm -hmm. The Bible says you're gonna live what you're preaching, right? Uh, so first, yesterday, my wife' car broke down. I mean, that was Wednesday. I was in Stewart, and the car broke down, right? She called me on the phone just before we had Bible study. My car, brother. That's my wife, y'all. She in Boca. Okay, uh, uh, I'm in Bible study. Finna go to Bible study, baby. 
Let's pray. God, in the name of Jesus, you know I can't be there. Huh? I'm just giving y'all my testimony. Huh? How, 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 how the scriptures say, don't be weary in well-doing. All right? Uh, 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 she say, I'm going to drive your car in the morning. I'm <laughs> <laughs> devil will try you, amen? Amen. Uh, but God will show you a better way. Say, baby, catch a ride with the lady that worked with you at work. Oh, no.
You know, he said, I'm 116, they on 110. I said, well, that, that's going to go pretty good. No, 30 minutes passed by. <laughs> wait a minute here. About 3 o'clock, I'm like, wait a minute here. I text him again. I say, uh, what number you at now? Oh, I'm at 114. I say, I'll be back. You call me when uh, you get finished and I'll pick you up. Right? Don't get weary now. The test go up. I'm telling you now, I'm warning you. I'm winning because y'all got your body made up to do the thing the Lord's way. So the test go come, so I'm warning. So, so finally, I get to the house. He called me and said, Dad, I'm ready. All right, son, I'm on my way. I pick my son up. He say, I got to go to the bank now. <laughs> Open my business account. <laughs> my son worked for the labor. But he been to open a business account. <laughs> Y'all laughing, but God is able. Amen. Amen. Yes, he is. So he goes to the bank that's going to be beneficial to him. Oh, I should have told you, there's anointing on his life. That's why the devil got him in this situation. Because God has called him to do something tremendous and great. And I prophesy, he's a, he's a ruler, he's a king. There's a prince in that boy, and it's got to come out. But anyway, we got to have to come out. Anyway, so, so, so he gets to the bank, and uh, he gets to the bank, and, and the bank says, Well, you can't uh, open a business account, but you can open a personal account. He called me late, Daddy. I'm done at the bank. I'm tired. It's almost 4 o'clock now. I think at least if I get me an hour, shut up. I'm old. I need a nap in the afternoon, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to be all right to come out and preach, right? I'm going to be all right. I'm going to be all right. I'm going to be all right. So, 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 he said, yeah. I'm hungry. <laughs> now, you would think that he knew I ain't ate nothing all day. And when he thought about himself being hungry, he might have said, well, I'm going to see if my daddy wants something, too. <laughs> I'm at Wingstop. <laughs> Hey son, I'm on my way. But it picked him up. I took him home. Now all this is, I'm thinking about the sermon. Don't be weary in well-doing. Paul says, start at the household of faith. Can I help somebody? Yes. Go to your own house and get started. Amen. Yes. 